Hola, ¿me escuchan? Estoy probando mi audio. Hello. Good evening, yes. Okay, good evening, thank you. Okay, here we go. In two minutes, we're going to get started, okay? So class, remember that you need to work on the platform, okay? Because I was checking and just a few of you have begun. Some of you have 40%, some others have 60%. And many of you have 0% of the work, okay? So class, I cordially invite you to work on the platform, okay? Today and in the evening, so you don't have problems on Monday. And, okay. ¿Y se, y se puede saber quién tiene? ¿Qué mm -hmm. tiene? ¿Se tiene? ¿Se puede saber cuál es el porcentaje que uno tiene? Debe tener el 100% cuando ha terminado todas las actividades en cada sección. Es decir, quien tiene 60% no ha terminado todas las, las tareas. ¿sí? ¿Y, ¿Y dónde se, o sea, el, se 40, puede? Usted, usted sabe, cada quien sabe porque ahí le, la plataforma le, le indica, ¿verdad? El porcentaje que lleva en el progreso. ¿Sí? Ok. Sí, pero hay quienes tienen eh, cero porque no han hecho nada, pues, ni siquiera la tarea número uno. Entonces les digo por qué el reporte se manda semanalmente a Insaport, ¿de acuerdo? Igual que las asistencias, ¿verdad? Que las asistencias son 120 minutos, si no ahí va el descuento y al final quedan debiendo y al final todos quieren diploma. Sí, son dos cosas paralelas, ¿verdad? La asistencia y el trabajo en la plataforma, el trabajo académico. Hay quienes me completan todo el trabajo académico de una vez hasta los del examen final, pero no logran el porcentaje de asistencias, entonces no se hacen acreedores al diploma. E igual, asisten a todas las clases, pero no completan eh, las tareas ni los exámenes, el midterm o the final test. Y entonces no, no logran el porcentaje porque son las dos situaciones. Por eso precisamente se envía el reporte semanal a Insafor, porque luego algunos dicen, ah, yo voy a ir a Insafor por esto y esto, yo terminé mi trabajo. Pero como los términos ya están dados, ¿verdad? Entonces por eso les invito cordialmente a que Hagan sus tareas, ¿ok? Every day. So it is exactly the time to get started. And I congratulate the people who have been working on the platform and for your responsibility of being on time in class. And I'm going to get started because today we have too many things to do. As every single day, of course. So I'm going to start sharing my PPT with you as every single day I do. And here we go, okay? From the very beginning. Today is November the 4th, correct? And today is Friday. Tomorrow and the day after tomorrow, no classes. So you have two days in order to update your work in the uh, platform. It is for our, I'm going to shake this. It is not three, it is four. I was daydreaming probably, right? Okay, but here, I'm going to check it out right now. Yes, over here. So I stopped sharing over here and I'm going to read. Okay, the agenda for you. Greetings as every day, feedback, objectives. You are going to help me reading the objectives. In the pre task, we have how to do something by using imperatives. In the preparation task, how to do something by using imperatives. And the main task is to work on how to do something by using imperatives. 
I expect that we're going to end up the class working at pages 13 and 14 and the wrapping up of the class. Again, here a reminder for the homeworks and evaluations. It is necessary to get the 80% in the average in the homeworks and evaluations so you can get your uh, diploma, right? And everything is set in the platform. The requirements you already know because this is your level number five. I am just reminding you for the full name, when you log into the class, a camera on, microphones off, unless you are required not to do so to participate. Again, a reminder of the attendance, the class hour, 120 minutes. The attendance is taken twice and you need to activate your camera when you say, here I am or present. And at the end of the class, you know that one of you stays with me in order to reinforce any doubt about any grammar structure, vocabulary, or we just practice pronunciation, reading and comprehension, yeah? Again, in Zoom, it is expected that all of you have the cameras on as in the screen that is shared over here. The chats are available, WhatsApp and via Zoom. The help button, the ask for help button is available in the breakout rooms and you need to show respect for everyone, okay? That is going to be appreciated. And here on Monday, the A's, we're going to be ending up week number one, section number one. That is why I'm inviting you to go over the activities. In this week, you don't have a a quiz, an exam, an evaluation, only the homeworks. So take advantage of that, please. And here we have the objectives for today, the general objective, specific objective, and the class objective. I ask you, please help me reading the objectives for today. I need a volunteer. If you are so nice, who's going to help me today? Me. Thank you so much. General objectives. Participants will develop competencies that will allow them to mark steps in a progress and ask and answer questions to check that maintenance procedures are met in face to face in telephone conversation with, with others in work, in work situations. Thank you so much. Now, another participant to read the specific objective, please. Thank the specific you. objectives. Particip participants will be able to tell someone how to do something by using imperative. Excellent. And one more participant to read the class objective for today. One more participant. It can be a girl because two boys have participated. Class objective. By the end of this lesson, participants will be able to use imperative. Thank you so much. Read the class objective. Do your homeworks in the platform. Stay in class all the session. Those are imperative sentences, yes? And that is what we are going to be practicing today. It is not a big problem with that structure. It is kind of easy. So here we have this feedback, what clauses. Let's remember this theory, okay? The one that I shared with you yesterday. This is the topic we practiced yesterday, what clauses. A what clause is a type of noun clause or a free relative clause. That begins with the word what, but it is not an interrogative sentence, okay? In a declarative sentence, one of the most common applications for these clauses, a what clause, which functions as a noun, may serve as the subject, usually followed by a form of the verb be, subject, complement, or object of a sentence. But in examples I showed you yesterday, 
what I want you to do is to go to the American consulate in El Salvador, ask for the consul and give him a message from us. Will you do that? Time was what I wanted. What I wanted was impossible. What we gave him was three pupusas and a cup of coffee. What I'd like you to know is the truth. In exercises, in sentences, sorry, three, four, and five, the clauses begin with what? But in number two, you have that time was what I wanted. It is in the middle of the complete sentence, okay? So usually it goes at the beginning, but not always, yeah? And this is basically what we did yesterday. So as part of the feedback right now, I'm going to ask some of you to help me reading this conversation because yesterday you were also reading, practicing this conversation. Do you remember? Yes. Jab on Kurt, yeah? Kurt, do you know what you need to have a good product? Oh, that's a good question. I think that what I would do is have quality in a product. What do you mean? What I'm saying is that your product has to be the best in the market. Because of the competence, I get it. Yes, you know, a friend of mine has a honey factory. What my friend did was to get fresh honey from local farmers. Sounds great. And at the same time, he contributes to these people. I need two participants to practice this conversation. Thank you, Miss Christy and who is the other one? And Nelly. Okay. Let's um, begin. Christy, here, do you job here? Do you know what you need to have a good product? Oh, that's a good question. I think that what I will do is have quality in a product. What do you mean? What I'm saying is that your product has to be the best in the market. Because of the competition, I get it. Compete. Yes. yes, you know, a friend of mine has a honey factory. What my friend did was to get fresh honey from local, local farmers. Sounds great. And at the same time, he contributes to these people. Very well. Congratulations, girls. Excellent for girls. Now I need two boys to practice this conversation. Okay, two boys. No boys, only girls in this class. Wow. Me. Thank you, Tony. You're going to read job. Who's going to read Kurt? Me. Darío. Okay. Okay, let's begin. One, two, three. Kurt, do you know what you need to have a good product? Oh, that's a good question. I think, I think that what I will do is have quality in a product. What do you mean? What I am saying is that your product has to be the best in the market. Because of the competence, I get it. Yes, you know. A friend of me has a honey factory. What my friend did was to get fresh honey from local farmers. Sounds great. And at the same time, he contributes, 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 contributes. At the same time, he contributes to these people. Okay, great. Mm -hmm. At the same time, he contributes to these people, okay? Yes. Remember, when you are listening and you find a word that is kind of troublesome for you to pronounce, you go ahead, you continue. Okay. Don't let that a word stops you. And it happens the same when you are speaking and you don't know the, the exact word and you can use an association. For example, oh, okay. you are going to say, yes, and I bought a, 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 a 
and you want to say a pulsera and you don't know how to say pulsera, then you say, and I bought something that you can put on your hand here on your wrist, okay, as an accessory. Yeah, you give the description, but mm. don't let that a word stops you and you get frozen. No, you continue. And if it is in a reading, then you're going to find the correct pronunciation. Okay, but you okay. need to show confidence. Okay, very well. Okay, class, okay. this is what you were practicing. You were answering these questions. And also this was the troublesome because most of you are used to the word what, but as a WH question word. In this case, it's not for question, yeah? And here, I'm going to share the new topic for you. Mm, this one, yeah. Okay, this is part of the feedback. I... Hello, who expressed that? Miss Sandra Leticia. <sighs> okay. <laughs> Thank She's you. Dying. Listen, introduction to the topic. You remember that everything here is recorded. That is why at the beginning I tell you, your microphones, your sound off, unless you are told not to do so. I mean, que se le pida que no tengan, ¿verdad? Because sometimes you are arriving home or you are in, in your transportation, you are commuting, and then everything in the... Uh, in your transportation, it is in the in the car, in the Uber, or I don't know, in the by if you travel by bus, by taxi, and you share, or if you are in what we know as the micro bus, yeah, everything, the music, and all what people is saying is recorded here in class. Okay, but you know, so introduction to the topic, imperatives. You know about this. It is not a difficult structure. Imperatives are verbs used to give orders, commands, warning, or instructions. At home, since we were little children, we received orders and commands. At school and at work, we receive orders and commands. But here, if you remember, your parents, come here, or when your teacher at school used to, or the principal at the school, hey, come here, or the vice uh, principal, el subdirector, right? Hey, come here, and you got terrified. And you directly follow the instruction, the order, sit down. Those are affirmative imperatives, but I have from number three to number seven, negative imperatives. Don't go. May I go to the party? No, you don't have permission. But please, don't go, don't go, yeah? Your mother used to tell you that or your father. Do not walk on the grass, we see that, yeah? Don't tell him you're resigning now. Don't drink alcohol. Don't eat heavy meals at night. Another one, don't smoke, yes? Don't park over here, no parking. Those are imperatives or orders, commands or instructions, yeah? When I say go to your groups, it is a command, an instruction or an order. But if I say go to your groups, please, I change this imperative sentence into a polite request. De una forma cortés les pido que se muevan a sus grupos. But if I say go to your groups, then it is an imperative sentence. What do you notice in these sentences? They are sentences, but what is different from the rest of the sentences? And it's an exception to the rule. What don't you see? ¿Qué es lo que no ven en todas ellas? Either affirmative or negative. Hello. Now the one who wants to participate. Negative. Yeah. Something. Okay. Negative. Yeah. Some of them are negative and some others are affirmative, but there is something that is not neither in the affirmative nor in the negative. Hay algo que no hay 
ni en las afirmativas ni en las negativas en las oraciones imperativas. ¿Qué es? Please, please. Excuse me, miss, will you say that again? The word please. At the word please, yes, because it is imperative. Okay, but somebody said something else. ¿Alguien más dijo algo? Pronombres. Pronoun. Very well, because it is implied. It is tacit. Está implícito. When I say directly, come here. I don't say you come here. In Spanish, many times to make an emphasis, people say, vení. Mira, vení para acá. O, vení para acá. Tú, ven para acá. Sí o no. But yes. in English, you don't say that. You just say, come here, sit down. Usted siéntese. And not even so, the students don't follow the instruction for the teachers, yes? They make an emphasis. But in English, you just say, sit down, don't go, open the door, open the window with no subject pronoun. Why? Because it is over understood. Se sobreentiende que en todos los imperativos es you. Porque le estoy hablando directamente a la persona, ¿sí? A quien le estoy eh, dando el mandato, la orden o el comando, ¿sí? O la instrucción. I think that there is no problem over here. Yes, and even so, they are complete sentences, but imperative sentences, ¿ok? Are we clear so far? ¿Estamos claros hasta el momento? Yes. Ok. Excellent. Now we move, I think, to the next one. And here I have two questions for you to answer. What is the first thing you pay attention to when you buy a product? Let's be honest, okay? Price. And, and what price. is, the, okay, you say the price. And what is the most important thing for you? ¿Y qué es lo más importante para ustedes? Quality. Okay, quality, quality or price? The because quality. Depend on the product. Yes. Okay. Usually depending the price. On, and depending on your objective, right? Because I have seen many people, for example, at the supermarket, that they don't pay attention to the price. They pay attention to the ingredients. They pay attention to the sugar that the product contains or the uh, calories. Nutritional, yeah. nutritional value. Okay, excellent, very well. But they don't, for them, that is the most important aspect. It is not the price, neither the quality, yeah? And to some other people, it is the quality. But some other people prefer um, to check out the prices, yes? So you see there is a variety. And so those are the criteria that people use when they buy a product. And depending on the kind of product, right? Because for example, to buy a laptop, is it more, more important the quality or the price? The quality. What you, the quality. But usually the quality is associated to the price. Yes or no? More, more um, expensive. Is, is as anonymous of uh -huh. the price. Yeah, okay, very well. But uh, it depends on your needs also and on your budget. Y en su presupuesto, yes or no? Okay, class, so we're going to be discussing a little bit about it, yeah? And in order to do that, we're going to work on the following. And I need you to pay close attention, please. Where is it? over here okay this is what we were discussing yesterday here and over here okay look at this how to use imperatives this is the big topic for today use imperatives to give an order to give instructions or to make invitations Imperatives do not have a subject as you clearly notice in the examples. But here you have some other examples. Read this chart and check every piece. Unplug this cord and connect the blue one. 
fill in a report about the defective pieces. Verify the oil level. When you put a claim on probably your internet service by phone, yeah? What do they tell you? Do they, the, the technician from the company from, you know, Claro, Tigo, and what is the other one? Salnet, the other uh, suppliers yeah. for yeah. Wi-Fi. Movistar. Movistar. Movistar and no is important. That... No important, solo Claro. Necesita mencionar Claro y ahí acabó. Solo no, para claro. Ahí, no, no but, all of them, but all of them tell you the same, okay? Check out the router. Check out the connection. If it is plugged or unplugged, yes or no? Check the lights, yeah? Reset. How many lights do you see in this and that? They give you instructions, commands to follow, yes? To complete a process. But they don't tell you. Usted revise el, el router. No le dicen usted, le dice revise. Check out how many lights are on. No le dicen usted eh, revise cuántas luces están encendidas. No, para darle esos comandos o instrucciones no le dicen usted, solo le dicen revise. The same as in English, yes? Okay. So right now what you're going to do is this. Look at the diagram of how this chocolate product is made. You have to label each step in order using words in the diagram. And you have here these words. Again, with the chocolate, you're going to be expert on chocolate. And here you're going to write which one best fits in order to complete these sentences, okay? Your choices are separate, check, label, assemble, form, mix, or ground, and that is exactly only that part at page 14, okay? But before you start doing that, I'm going to ask you, please to activate your cameras because I'm going to check your attendance, okay? I'm going to call your names today, Friday, in order to see who's here and who is absent. Atilio? Atilio Ernesto is absent. Dijo, dijo que tenía problemas. Ahí está. Ahí, ahí está congelado, pero ahí está. Ok. Atilio, presente. <laughs> Vía chat. Ok. Vía chat. Uh, Brandon, Josué. Ok. Absent. Claudia María Guerrero. Present. Thank you, Miss. Concepción Marina. Present. Thank you. Darío Antonio. I saw you, Darío. Present, teacher. Thank you. Stephanie Carranza. Present. Josué Neftali García. Present, teacher. Juan Antonio. Present teacher. Luis Miguel Corbera. Present teacher. Mrs. Scarlett Rodriguez. Absent. Marina Yancy. Absent. Norm Mirna Lisset. Hernández. Present. Thank you. Nelly Lilibet. Present. Nelson Orlando Tejada. Present teacher. Participating actively. Norma Patricia. Norma Patricia absent. Oh my God. Pablo. Pablo Adalberto. Present teacher. Present teacher. Thank you, sir. Miss Sandra. Sandra Leticia. Absent. Miss Wendy. Maricela. 
Absent. Sandra Leticia. Wendy Maricela. Absent. Carla Sofía. Present. Miss Celia Cristina. Present teacher. From the beginning. Okay. And now we're going to continue working as I told you, okay? You're going to label the following steps by using, okay, the given words in this process. Separate, check, label, assemble, form, mix, and ground. The first one is done for you as an example. Separate the raw materials to get only the best cocoa beans. So here there is one for each of these sentences, okay? And we are working exactly at page 14. So class, how do you feel more comfortable working that step individually or in the small groups? Okay, individually. Mm -hmm. oh. But. Individually, in three minutes, I think you're going to be ready. I'm going to take a picture of you, okay? Smiling when you said, okay, individually. Okay, I'm going to transfer you to the breakout rooms because you have more chance in order to discuss. Yeah, here we go, let's see. Okay, get ready because I'm going to send you the invitation and please check out who are your partners in the group, okay? Because when you are going to present, you forget about the participants. I sent you the invitation. Please go to your groups and begin with the activity. Thank you, Luis Miguel. Thank you, Carla. Thank you, Claudia. Thank you, Tony. Thank you, Atilio. Thank you, Darío. Thank you, Stephanie Nelson and Pablo. Thank you, Concepción. Thank you, Wendy Maricela. Hola, este, yo voy a estar de oyente. Uh, sí, pero aún así, este, incluyase, por favor, Nelly. Ok. Bye. Bye. Okay. Uh -huh. Y ahí le explica a los chicos. Sandra Leticia. Sandra Leticia, we need you in group number two. Nelly, go to group number three. And Scarlett, Marianne Scarlett, we need you in group number four. Marianne Scarlett. Okay, let me see. Marianne, hello, Marianne Scarlett. Marianne Scarlett, do you listen to me? Okay, let me check over here. Atilio, Sandra, Leticia. Nelly Lipet, Atilio, Sandra, Leticia. Okay, and Scarlett, what is your problem? Scarlett, do you have a special situation so you don't join the groups? ¿Está de acuerdo, don Miguel? Sí. O en contra, como toda la vida. Qué mala fama. The cocoa beans into powder. Los granos de cocoa dentro del powder es, es polvo, ¿no es? Pues. The cocoa beans into powder. ¿Qué sería? Grown or form? Wrong, or me suena más como que más ground, pero no estoy seguro. ¿Cuál consideran ustedes que sería la mejor opción? ¿Y powder? Sí. 
Aquí, check, pongo. Ah, check. Pero se pueden repetir, ¿verdad? No es que es una por una. ¿Se pueden repetir? No. No, sé. no creo que no. Pues no, dice. No, mis. <risa> No, ¿verdad? No, there is one for each. Count the sentences and count the, the words. Cuenten las oraciones y cuenten las palabras. There is one for each. Ocho. What is mean grow? Grow. Quiz. Teacher. Se fue. Associate. Associate. ¿Qué significa grow? Associate. Ah. Asocien. Asocien las palabras y luego van a. a ok. Asocien. Asocien. A learning by association. Fíjense bien, les voy a dar un tip. Por discriminación, las palabras que ustedes consideran más eh, familiares con las que se identifican más, esas son las que van a ir trabajando y dejen las que les cuesta más para el final, ¿sí? Esa técnica también se usa en un examen. Porque si no, como les decía al inicio, con una palabra usted se bloquea y ya no puede continuar el proceso. A eso le llamamos aprendizaje por asociación. ¿Ok? Mm -hmm. Y ya verán que sí van a comprender sin necesidad de usar traductor. Ok, let's see. Mix okay. de cocoa beans. Mm, no, porque no podemos mezclar el, eh, los granos de cocoa, de chocolate, ¿verdad? En... Uh -huh. En polvo. No lo sí, pueden... es que tenemos dudas con eso, pero creo que es de powder. El polvo con la leche. El polvo con la leche. El uh, assemble, o ¿cómo se lee? Assemble. 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 Ajá. You eh, assemble the car parts. The factory. In Mexico, people assemble the car parts. Eh, creo que iría con el de de packet packet yo digo que es label de package label es como la etiqueta ¿verdad? label de package creo que es aquí ajá ah bueno decía el otro a simple place Estos son los resultados principales de la búsqueda. ¿Y por qué están usando traductor? Yo no voy. Traten de asociar, les digo. Miren, no dependan de un traductor. Bueno, continúe. I'm going to stay in silence. Voy a quedarme en silencio. Este y el check en, en quality en quality control chequear. Uh -huh, yo así digo también. Estamos medio hacemos para abajo. All the ingredients. Ah, you see, check the quality control. Ajá. Control. A simple paste. Una simple pasta. Ajá. Por sería. Simple pasta. Simple pasta. Debería estar echando los que ya tenemos. El, 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 entonces, si el assemble, 
the chocolate package to finish. Hola. El... Ay, perdón, que quiero. Ay, no. uh, assemble. Assemble. Tachar los que ya tenemos. Solo dos nos faltan. Y la hacen. Es ensamblar. Es, es la. Sí, uh, poner. Fusionar. De, de chocolate. Sí, package to finish. Mm -hmm. Y sería sí cualquiera de los dos se puede repetir uh -huh. es, eh, lo importante es usar el imperativo pero uh -huh. tienen que usarlos todos sí, sí están se... todos teacher pero hay una eh, sobra una oración debe repetirse uno cuál es la que les sobra que como separate ya está hay ocho utilizada. oraciones los cuales separate ya está utilizado entonces quedan seis Siete Ajá. oraciones para siete seis oraciones, palabras. seis palabras. Por eso, siete palabras. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, seis. Mm. Son siete palabras y ocho oraciones. Ajá. Entonces, veamos. Separate the raw materials to get only the best cocoa beans. Mix all the ingredients to make the chocolate tablet. Ground the cocoa beans into power. Excellent. That's it. Mix the power with milk. Assemble the chocolate package to finish. Mm, no. Form a simple paste. Label the package. Check the quality control. Assemble the chocolate. Sí, tendría que ser assemble the chocolate package to finish and label the package. Mm -hmm. Which is the one that you, which is the one that you have a, a mix? Mm -hmm. Mix too. Mm -hmm. yeah. Or check. Mix, mix or check. Mix, no mix. Because mix, mix okay. all the ingredients to make the, the chocolate tablet, yeah? Okay. And mix the power, the powder with milk. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's it. Form a simple paste, label the package, check. Okay, there's no other one for checking. Okay, hold it because I'm going to assign one student to one of the groups. Okay. Yeah, I think so. It's okay. And you were only two in this yes, group. Teacher. No, but yes. there was supposed to be someone else because in all the groups there were three people. And in number five, I have Stephanie and Nelson Orlando. And Pablo is right now joining. I think some of them have problems with the connectivity. Okay, very well. Probably you're going to present it to the class, okay? Double okay, check yes. and decide who's going to share with the class. Very well done. Congratulations. Excellent. Thank you. una de sus sugerencias, ¿cómo se dice a simple pas, paste? Porque mm. siento que lo pronuncia como en simple paz del, del pasado. 
say that means again. Say it again. Dígamelo de nuevo. Uh, sería for a simple paste. For a simple, a simple, simple. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. paste. Paste. Okay. Paste. Uh -huh. Like toothpaste. Okay. Paste. Simple paste. Tenemos una duda nada más. Teacher, es en la segunda. Porque, por ejemplo, eh, yo, yo ponía mi eh, check all the ingredients to make the chocolate tablets. Y nos decía Pablo, se escucha mejor como mix all the ingredients to make the chocolate tablets. That's correct. Check. Check. No, no, no. No, it's mixed. Mixed, yeah. Mixed. Okay. Eh, Pablo, you are in group number five, okay? He's coming back. Ah, okay. Yeah. I <laughs> am Entonces, sorry, but sometimes mix it's all the ingredients. You, but no, I am giving the, the entrance to your partners. Uh, disculpen que a veces parece como que los ignoro, pero no es que les estoy dando el ingreso a los compañeros, ¿verdad? So we say mix all the ingredients to make the chocolate tablet, yeah? Okay, mix, mm -hmm. mix. Perfect, thank you. Because, because in the last one, you have to check quality in quality control. Quality control, okay, perfect. Excellent. Okay, eh, compañera y compañeros, si gusta les... Lo repetimos porque no encontré aquí. Aquí está text. Al fin encontré el texto. Pero bien grande. Sí, pues sí, ya lo llenamos, pero no me da. Muy grande. You may write over here. ¿O puede escribirlo acá? En el orden que lo llevan. Uh -huh. Ah, ok. Ya. Yeah. Next to. Aparecen normalmente en las páginas. No. ¿Qué aparecen en qué, perdón? Esto te va a quitar. A pie de página. Esto te va. Yo ya me he metido. Deberían de. Yo sí me he metido varias veces. Yeah, you should, because that is extra practice. Okay. We finish and we wait that all be right. This one is the only one in, that we have uh, uh, an inconsistence. Ground the cocoa beans into powder. Como moler los granos de café en I gave my I gave my reaction to your work. Ajá. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Entonces está todo bien y bonito. Éxito. Yeah, congrats. <laughs> mm -hmm. okay. I think so. Yeah. Because there is no other one for check. Check quality and quality control. There's no other one. Label the package because at the end you mm -hmm. label the package form a simple paste paste assemble the chocolate package to finish mix the powder with milk ground the cocoa beans into powder yeah mix you have to uh use two times mix yes that's okay. correct very well there are two groups that have the same answers the okay. same okay. yeah so nice. right now we're going to 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 share to standardize the answers okay in the main session room very okay. well congratulations excellent can we work in the number seven and six yeah but as soon as we return we're going to first we're going to share and later you're going to return to continue with exercises number six and number seven okay in the same group okay. Yeah, with the, I hope so because if you lose the connectivity, you okay. 
you are not in, but unless you're going to continue with the same team, okay? Okay. Okay. Yep. okay. Great. I need one team to volunteer to share with the class. <clears throat> of course. Okay, thank you. Mr. Corvera, is your group going to share? Tony CC, Claudia Warrior. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> we are all ears for this group's presentation. And then you say if you agree, partially agree or disagree, and you give your opinions, okay? Be my guest, please begin. Separate the raw materials to get only the best cocoa beans. Mix all the ingredients to make the chocolate tea. tablet. Grow the cocoa beans into powder. Mix the powder with milk. Assemble the, the chocolate package to finish for a simple paste. Label the package. And finally, check quality in quality control. Okay. Do we have a different version? Hello, class. Okay, everybody agrees because there are some other groups that have the same order, okay? Congratulations, class. You did an excellent work. Now, leave it like that. You're going to return to the breakout rooms because you're going to give a follow-up to this activity. It is your turn. Exercise six. It is a per work, but you're going to do it in a small groups because of the connectivity uh, of the different internet servers, right? In our country. Get in person, create a conversation using imperatives to order or give instructions to manufacture a product. Present the conversation in front of the whole class. This Excuse is- me, teacher. Yes? The conversation is about what? what? Here is the instruction, get in pairs and create a conversation. In this conversation, you have to use imperatives to order or give instructions to manufacture a product. Oh, okay, okay. okay, following these uh, steps, for example, in here, you have as number one, separate the raw materials to get only the best cocoa beans and blah, 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 okay? How to start a conversation? You use your creativity and you choose the product to manufacture a product. If you wish, it is up to you. You can take the previous project because in the previous project, you were using the words to mark the steps to follow uh, a process to create a product. What you need to do right now is only to eliminate those uh, marks 
those words and you just write the sentences as imperatives or you can create another one. There is no problem, yeah? Following this example, yes? But you have to use it as a conversation. Let's imagine that one of you is the coordinator, the supervisor of the company, and you give the instructions in order to get uh, the manufacture of a product. And that's it. Later on, you are going to present the conversation to the class. Any other question or doubt? Yes, Tony, if you open the, the microphone. No, no, doubt doesn't. I remember the, 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 the word is doubt is do that. Huh? Doubt, uh -huh. okay. yes, okay. doubt. So no doubts, no questions. So right now you create the conversation using imperatives to order or give instructions to manufacture a product. You use your imagination to create the conversation and the setting, the company, and any product. Later, you present it to the class, okay? Remember class, we are working at page 14, yeah? Here we go. Let's return to the breakout rooms and make a decision for the conversation can be among two people, three or four. It depends on you. You use your creativity. Okay, here we go. Join your groups. Pablo, Adalberto, your partners were Stephanie and Nelson, right? Yes. Okay, so I'm going to ask you to join group number five. Thank you, join your groups. Sandra, go to group number two. In number three, I need Nelly Lilibet and Wendy Maricela. Wendy and Nelly go to group number three because only Atilio is there waiting for you. Marianne Scarlett, we need you in group number four. Nelly, your classmates are waiting for you in group number three. The same for you, Marianne. Que la teacher no me escucha. He's here. And I was saying, no. Wendy, Wendy, join your group. You are here. No escuché, No. Es que se había cortado. Allá como que si estaba frozen la imagen, así se quedó. Ah. Ajá. Uh -huh. Por eso pensé que no se había unido. Ok, are you okay? The three? Yes? No. No, no, no están bien los tres. Oh, sí, yes. Ok, to create a conversation. Ok, great. Yes. Ok, excellent. Yes. yes. Ok, Darío en Concepción, are you okay? Only the two of you? Yes? Or uh, do you want me to join you in other groups? Yo creo que estamos bien. Estamos bien, teacher. So you create a conversation, okay? Okay. Okay, okay very well. Continue. Okay, entonces trabajamos con... Eh... El licuado mm -hmm. de Guinea. Ajá. Uh -huh. Okay, vamos a... Le voy a compartir para que pongamos bien a su la vez. Cómo hacer how to Espérenme, se perdió. Aquí está. How to make a guineo. Ah, no, este es banana. Banana. And milkshake. Milkshake. Shake. How to make a banana milkshake. Okay. Uh, make, make or prepare. Make sería. De las dos maneras está bien dicho, pero. Ok. Ok. 
Aquí a gusto del cliente. Sí. Bueno, vamos al mercado. No, no. Desde ahí. <risa> no, partiendo de que ya tenemos las cosas, pero, o sea, eh, el guineo, la leche, el azúcar, la vainilla. Eh, ¿Qué otra cosa le echan? Listen, but remember that you have to create it as a conversation, right? Okay. Yes. For example, yes. if uh, Celia says, uh, Claudia, let's make a banana milkshake. Oh, yes. Uh, great. And then uh, Tony Elia says, okay, I'm going to help you. And then Luis Miguel says, you're going to need uh, some bananas, milk, plus. Okay. And then you start mm -hmm. using the, for example, Claudia, peel the bananas. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. How to make a banana milkshake with out banana. Give to the other participant and so on. Porque eso le vamos a hacer más como dar las órdenes, vea. Pero sí, hagámoslo como algo. Porque conversación, porque como es conversación, lo que pide, como que subiera en el en el trabajo o en la casa, a group of friends. Yes, imagine that. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Work. Yeah, uh, just give him, give, give, him, give me hungry. Ese trabajo me está dando hambre. No. No, are giving is. Oh, ¿qué, qué vas a decir? No, this work makes me, this work makes me feel hungry. This work makes me, makes me, me. Mi, eh, mi, mi, no más, no mi. Mi. Ahí todos estamos dando ahorita. Hungry. <laughs> Makes me feel hungry. Eh, um, ok, este trabajo me está dando ya, me dio hambre, espérame. Uh -huh. No me deja pensar esto. <laughs> But This word makes me feel hungry. I need a shot of energy. De ahí le va a decir la mía Claudia. Muy bien. Uh, hello, Mirna. Welcome to your new job in Fantasy Cards. To your new job in Fantasy Cards. Ay, le voy a quitar el green area. Hello, Carla. I am, I am happy to be here. I am happy to be here. I am happy to be here. En este. Only two people here. Atilio? Yes. yes. But Nelly is available. Yes. ¿Y quién más estaba con ustedes, Atili? Wendy, Wendy. Pero tiene problemas. Pero no sé qué pasó, se salió. Eh, les pregunto, Atilio y Nelly, ¿se sienten bien trabajando acá esperando a que Wendy regrese o los uno a otro equipo? Eh, Nelly está de oyente. So you are alone. Yes. ¿Lo puedo unir a usted a otro equipo? Yo estoy trabajando aquí solo. Le voy a mostrar. Teacher, okay. Para que, para que okay. Me... So I can help you. And eh, while Wendy eh, gets back. Mientras Wendy regresa. Eh, eh, así llevo. Así llevo ahorita. You have to meet your eh, It is not negotiable. Not to visit the clients. Ajá. Uh -huh. Yes. Así. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Voy a seguir trabajando. Ah, sí, okay. Para que regrese okay. Nelly. Ah. Wendy, perdón. Not to visit the clients. Okay. okay. So here. Okay. Excellent. Okay. Very well. Okay. Okay. See you. Ajá. Uh -huh. Okay. Uh, no, para mencionar cuáles son. Uh, there are some. Mm -hmm. Ya yeah, sería cheese. Okay. Uh, 
as, aquí sería as, algunos as, cheese, ¿qué más? Azúcar. Uh, rice, azúcar, ajá. Uh -huh. Rice, sugar. Sugar. Harina de arroz, que es rice flour, creo. Uh -huh. Luego, va ahí, Pablo, Pablo, le puse Pablo. Pablo, ¿y dice ok? Stephanie, the necessary tools. Ajá, y ahí vamos, vamos tomando, Stephanie. Find the necessary tools, no was time. Hello, hello. Teacher. Listen, when you say, Pablo, please take the things out of the box. You are going to eliminate please, porque entonces ya no es command, sino que ya es una polite request. Imperative. Ajá, sí, tiene que convertirlo en imperative. Pablo, take the things out of the box. It's es okay. Una orden, Pablo, toma yeah. la... Find the necessary tools. Not waste, do not waste, do not waste time. Acá, do not waste time. Do not. Do not or don't waste time. Do, don't, do not. Uh -huh. oh, don't. Uh -huh. I understand. Look at the instructions before starting. Yes, oh. you are right. First, take those pieces and put them together. Paul, ready. Put the screws in the holes with the screwdriver. Here you go. Put the other legs on the table and screw. Uh, all set. Flip the table over and place it wherever you want. Thank you for your help. Ay, miren, pero hagamos más amigable este. All set. Flip the table over and place it wherever you want. Porque donde quieras. And, uh, and place it um, in the, and place it in the sales room, maybe, in la sala de ventas. And the place it in the... In the sales. Sal, sales room. Mm -hmm. Sales, eh, eh, no. Sales. Sales es ventas. ¿Así? No. Okay, I'm going to dictate it for you. S, A, as in apple. A, as in apple. Uh -huh. No, that's E. And I said A. A as in apple. No, that is I. A as in apple. Como en A como en apple. Okay, L. Uh -huh. E as in elephant. S. Uh -huh. S. Una letra S le hace falta. Ajá. Room. Sales room. Sales room. Sales room. La sala de ventas. And then you eliminate whatever you want. Ok. Teacher. Yes. Ok. Luego, thank you for your help. Sales room. No, but room with double O. Two O's. Mm -hmm. Thank you for your help. Okay. And then you practice it and you present it to the class. <laughs> Who is Wendy? Se fue Wendy. Ah, se fue Pablo otra vez. <laughs> okay. Ya va a regresar. Es que las conexiones, como les digo, por eso nunca pueden trabajar en pared. Porque si falta un, en otro me hace falta Marianne, en otro buen, y así. Ya va a regresar Pablo cuando regrese. Lo, vamos a ver si escribió algo acá en el chat. Acá me dice no tenía interticho. Okay. Pablo, acá está, está con ustedes, ¿verdad? Sí, Pablo. Okay, five. 
Sí, teacher. Ok, miren, a veces parece que yo los ignoro, pero no es que estoy pendiente de lo que me escriben acá en el WhatsApp y cuando quieren reingresar. Y si no, pues, si estoy pendiente de ustedes, no leo el WhatsApp. Ok, Pablo is back. Paul. Pablo. Hey, Pablo in Spanish and Pablo in English. <laughs> Make a decision. Is it in English or in Spanish? Spanish. <laughs> Pablo and then you have Nelson, Paul. Nelson, Paul, and Stephan. Nelson, Paul, and Stephanie. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Practice because you're going to present it in the main session room, okay? Very well. Okay. Perfect. See you. Ah, si, si teacher, entiendo. teacher. It was recording, Mr. Tony. <laughs> Quedó en la grabación. <laughs> okay, let's see. Claudia, this work makes me feel hungry. I need a shot of energy. What do you think? I think that a banana milkshake is the best option. In the office, we have a new blender. We can use it. What ingredients do we need? Bananas, of course. Exclamation marks and question marks in English only at the end. Okay. Only at the end. Okay. Only at the end. Bananas, of course. And also we need milk and ice. Don't forget a little strop of vanilla. Okay. Listen, if you say a little drops, you have to say some little drops of vanilla. Porque a ah, is only one. But here you have drops, plural. Ah, okay. That's Don't right. Don't forget some little some, drops. Mm -hmm. What is the process? Hago el plural singular, pero o sea, lo estoy anulando uno con el otro. Ya entendí. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Don't forget Assemble some little the drops. And connect, uh, and connect it to the energy. Connect. And connect it to the energy. Okay, listen, what is the process to make a banana milkshake? Assemble the blender and plug it, plug it in. Plug in. Plug it, no, plug it, plug it in. After it, in, plug it in, conectala. Plug it in. Ahí, ahí está de más to the energy porque ya se sabe que tu plugin es conectar a, 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 uh, a algo, a, a una fuente a de energía. energía. Plug it in. Peel the bananas and cut them in, again, in little pieces. You don't need to write a ah, in little pieces. Empieza or a in some little pieces. Uh -huh, yeah, it could be. Okay. But you can say in little pieces. And okay. Then, that's okay. Okay, this uh, brainstorming progress. Okay, okay. ¿Qué más? ¿Qué más? ¿Qué más? Eh, ¿Quién va ahora? Mix. Put in. No, ¿cómo sería? Mix put. meal to. As sería put. And I'll put. In, uh -huh. in the cup blender or blender. ¿Cómo se dice? Put the banana. Pieces in the blender and, uh, and add the ice. Ah, aquí va a decir la niña Claudia, no la niña Celia. Add the ice and milk. Milk. Mm -hmm. Ah, mm -hmm. no pusimos la azúcar en ningún lado, pero ah, vamos sí. a Uh -huh. Es que es dietético, por eso. Ay, qué parece. Ya, 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 <laughs> el esplenda es peor, pero igual tengo. The ice and milk. 
Ay, no, qué barbaridad, como usted no se puede trabajar. No, 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 Y ahora, ah, me I interrupt you, me I interrupt you. Next, <laughs> assemble the cars with paste. Next, uno. Next, nada más. Next, assemble. Ajá, luego, assemble the cars with paste. Mm -hmm. eh, eh, pega, así se dice también, como pegar. Glue. Ah, es cierto. Glue. Glue, así. Glue. Y, y así en el elefante, tiene una L se falta después de la U. Glue. Una E. Glue. Glue. Mm -hmm. Ok, uh, right now, how many pieces should I cut? Not I should cut. Should I cut? Should I cut? Should I? You switch should this. I? Uh -huh. Should I? Uy. I cut. Okay, let's listen. Hello, Myrna. Welcome to your new job in Fantasy Cards. This is the manufacturing area. Hello, Carla. I am happy to be here and start and start to begin. Y comenzar a iniciar. And I start to work. Oh, I start to work. Uh -huh. I am happy too. I am happy too with double O, with two O. Oh, sí, es cierto. Con la de, la de... I am happy too. Let's start. First, cut the paper to the size we need. Right now, how many pieces should I cut? Cut 20 pieces in 8.5 in 2.11. In, que no es inches, pulgadas. Ajá. Inches. Inches. Ah, es que yo lo contracto, pero no sé. No, escríbalo. Inches. Inches. Después de la N, CH. Ajá, inches. Tu eleven inches. No, elimíneme el please, porque si le escribe el please, ya no es command, ya se convierte en polite request. Ajá. Then put the paper in the printer. I send the, fi the file. The file, what happens? Ah. <laughs> sí. Ahí me equivoqué. Uh -huh. I, yeah, uh -huh. because you were thinking in Spanish. I send the file to print on. To print. Okay. In this moment, in this moment, eh, verdad? Ajá. Es así, se me fue. In this moment. Okay, when I finish cutting. When I finish, maybe. I put the paper in the printer. And now, next, assemble the cars with glue. Yeah, that's it. Very well. So you practice it because you're going to present it to the class, okay? Okay. Y para finalizar, podría ser como, really, we finished the order. Uh -huh. We are ready. We are ready. Uh -huh. We are ready. With, uh, the order is set or complete. Okay. A complete. Mm -hmm. Algo más? Si no, aquí le agrego. No, no, para mí está bien. Más, no puede ser más. Permita. Right. Ajá. Uh -huh. And the quesadillas will be already. Will be. Already. Okay.
ahí terminamos, le vamos a agregar algo al final. Ah, no, yo creo que ya está bien. Ya están okay. listas, a menos que hagamos el café. O, sea, <risa> o ya listas para ser entregadas, solo para... Hello, cerrar. hello. Hello, oh. Darío. I need to make 50 quesadillas. Great. Don't think more and start the process. I will start buying the ingredients. There are some as cheese rice, sugar rice flour, baking powder, etc. Okay, when, when we have the ingredients, we start. When we will know, when we have the ingredients, we start the process. Will. Okay. Eliminate will. Mm -hmm. Will. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Take it out. Take and then what is this? Porque escribieron what is this? ¿Qué es esto? ¿Qué es esto? Escribieron. ¿Cuál es el proceso? ¿Cuál es ese? What is it? We start the process. What is it? What is it? Eh, what is it? Ajá. Uh -huh. First, blend the eggs when this is a point we add the sugar. Then add the rice flour with. Está mal escrito. The H. Ajá. Pero elimina la H que tiene ahí. Es. La I. I. The H. The H. Uh -huh. With, with cheese. cheese. And after, what do we do? And after, what do we what do? do? What do we do? ¿Qué hacemos? What do we do? Because it is a question. What do we do? What okay. do we do? Uh, let's stand for for hours. What do you mean by let dejar reposar? Dejar reposar por cuatro horas. Uh, let it. Let it stand for for hours. Let it. It. Ajá. Uh -huh. Hay que dejarlo eh, reposar for four hours. I have a question. The baking powder. Power. Es, le falta ha, la, eh, okay, eh, listen. Eh, wait, wait. Eh, es, I have okay. a question. When do we add the baking powder? When do we add the baking powder? When do we add the baking powder? Yeah. Do we add? When do we add the baking powder? Okay. Wait 20 minutes to 250 grades and the quesadilla will be ready. Wait. Mm, bake. Hay que hornear la quesadilla, ¿verdad? No, wait. Bake. Bake. Ajá. Uh -huh. 20 minutes to. Bake, bake it. Bake it. Hornealo. Uh -huh. la, la, la mezcla, ¿verdad? Mm -hmm. 20 minutes to 200. Yeah. Grades and the quesadillas will be ready. Okay, and that's it. Very well. Now practice the conversation. Uh, 250, como es? 250. 250 grades. Okay. Okay, practice because very soon you're going to be presenting, okay? Okay. Matter of fact. Okay. Thank you for your help. Ready? Yes. Ready. Yes. Okay, very well. So here we go. The show is going to start. All the teams are going to present. They have different uh, conversations. The creativity was put into practice. Let's return. Okay.
Let's wait a couple of seconds for the others to return. Then we start with the presentations, okay? Decide who is going to, to share the screen or if you're not going to share the screen, only to share the conversation. Only you read one by one. Congratulations to all the teams. You put into practice your creativity, you built your knowledge on the language, your learning, and right now it is the time for you to be the stars. Okay. Okay, team number one, Celia, Claudia, Luis Miguel, and Tony. You are the first, the first group of stars. Begin, please. <clears throat> okay. <clears throat> How to make a banana milkshake. This work makes me feel hungry. I need a shot of energy. What do you think? I think that a banana milkshake is the best option. In the office, Tony. we have a new blender. We can use it. What ingredients do, you, do we need? Bananas, of course. And also we need the milk and ice. Don't forget some little drop of vanilla and Splenda. What is the process to make a banana milkshake? Assemble the blender and plug it in. Peel the bananas and cook them in the little pieces. Put the banana pieces in the blender. Add the ice and milk. Again, don't forget the banana and the splendor for diabetic people. Mix all the ingredients in the blender. Pour the banana milkshake in the glasses. And enjoy it. Give me a double shot now. Congrats, <laughs> very well done. I told you that creativity was put into practice. Okay, excellent, congratulations. Now let's listen to the next team. And the next team is Josue, Carla Sofia, Mirna, and Sandra Leticia. Ready? Vamos a solo Mirna y yo. Uh, hello, Mirna. Welcome to your new job in Fantasy Cars. This is the manufacture area. Hello, Carla. I am happy to be here and start to work. I am happy too. Let's start. First, cut the paper to the size we need. Right now, how many pieces should I cut? A good 20 pieces in eight point five inches to 11. I send a file to, pra, to print in this moment. Okay. When I finish cutting, I put the paper, paper in the printer. And now? Next, assemble the card with glue. The order is complete. <laughs> Excellent, congratulations. I told you, you are the stars now. Very well done. Group number three, Atilio, Nelly, Lilibet, and Wendy Maricela. Only Atilio and Wendy or Nelly, I don't know. Okay, begin. Mm -hmm. 
Hello. Hello. ¿Me escucha? Sí. Okay. Sale Ruth Supervisor. You have to meet your challenger. It is not a nego child. No, to be fit by things. You have to sell uh, to uh, your customer. Promotion must be commun communicator. You have to make sure that our client have advertency. You have to create new customer to accept the ob objective. You have to give good attention your, to your customer only. Very well. Thank you. Great, excellent. Thank you, people. And now let's listen to the next team. Concepcion, Darío, and Mariana Scarlett. Concepcion and Darío, are you ready? Yes, teacher. Yes. Manufacturing quesadillas. Hello, Darío. I need to make 50 quesadillas. Great. Don't think more and start the process. I will start buying the ingredients. There are some as cheese, rice, sugar, rice flour, baking powder, etc. Okay. When we have the ingredients, we start the process. What is it? First, blend the eggs. When this is in point, we add the sugar. Then add the rice flour with cheese. And after, what do we do? Let it stand for uh, four hours. I have a question. When do we add the baking powder? Add the baking powder just before put the mass on the pyrex. Bake, bake it 20 minutes to 250 degrees and the quesadilla will be already. Excellent. So as somebody said, this work makes me feel hungry, okay? And anxious for food. <laughs> Excellent, very well. Now, now here, Stephanie Carranza, Nelson, and Pablo. It is your turn. Okay, uh, Nelson, lo compartiría. Okay, thank you, Darío and Concepción. Now the other group is going to share the screen. Porfa, porque no puedo, ahí está. Okay, great, thank you, thank you. ¿Dónde está? ¿Dónde está? ¿Pueden ver la pantalla? Yes. Yes, sir. Making a table. Please make what do, why don't we boil, boil the new table? table? Okay. What do we do first? Pablo, take the things out, out of the box. It is okay. Finding necessary tools, don't know what to do. I understand. Look at the instru instruction before starting. Yes, you are right. First, take those pieces and the put and put that together. Right. Put the scram in the outlet with the scrap driver. Okay. Here you go. Put the other leg on the table and screw. Also, Place the table over and the place it 
in the sales room. Thank you for your help. Only that. Very well done, congratulations. You did a great job, class. Okay, excellent. And right now, listen, the next activity is for you to practice also. Remember, practice makes perfect. Over here, we have this conversation. <clears throat> Listen to your teacher, read the conversation, then practice with a partner. Um, Mrs. Nunez and Mr. Roland. <clears throat> Hello, Mr. Roland. Today is your first day at the plant. My name is Ms. Nunez and I'm going to explain what you must do in the production line. Nice to meet you, Ms. Nunez. Where do we start? First, you are in charge of stopping the conveyor belt. Please push this red button. Second, grab a pair of thumbs and pick every piece of chocolate. Read this chart and check every piece. Make sure each meets the specifications in this chart. Third, place the defective chocolate in this funnel. Finally, fill in a report at the end of the day about the defective pieces. If you notice in this conversation, we have highlighted or in bold, push, the, push this red button, grab a pair of thumbs and pick every piece of chocolate. Read this chart, check every piece. Place the defective chocolate. Fill in a report. All of these are commands. If you notice here at the beginning, we have the word please. But when I was uh, monitoring your work in the previous activity, I asked you not to write please. Why? Because if we write please, then the command turns into a polite request. It is not an instruction. It is not an order because you are asking something as a favor. Please push this red button. That is why it is not in bold. Por eso no está en negrita la palabra please, okay? Because the instruction is push this red button, grab a pair of thumbs, pick every piece of chocolate, read this chart, check every piece, place the defective chocolate, fill in a report. Okay, she is giving the instructions to the employee. So right now, I would like to have a lady uh, reading, Miss Nunez, and a boy, a gentleman, reading Mr. Roland. Okay, thank you, Nelly. You are going to read uh, Miss Nunez and the boy. Who's going to read uh, Mr. Roland? I need a gentleman. Uh, okay. Sorry, but I don't. Okay. Tony, you are? Okay, please, let's begin. You are the stars. Hello, Mr. Roland. Today is your first day of the plant. My name is Ms. Nunez, and I'm going to explain what you must do in the production line. Nice to meet you, Ms. Nunez. Where do we start? First, you're in charge of stopping the conveyor belt. Please push this red button. Second, grab a part of thumbs and pick every piece of chocolate. Read this chart and check every piece. Make sure it meets the specifications in the chart. Third, third uh, place the defective chocolate in this funnel. Finally, fill in a report at the end of the date about the defective piece, pieces. Thank you, Mrs. Nunez.
weeks. Right now, I'm going to stop sharing because it is exactly the time to take your second attendance. Later on, we're going to go to the breakout rooms to practice and discuss the vocabulary, the structure, and some questions that you have below the conversation. Mr. Atilio Ernesto Castillo. Atilio Ernesto Castillo, are you in class? Present teacher. Okay, thank you. Pleasant teacher. Brandon Josue Zabaleta. Absent today. Claudia Maria Guerrero. Present. Thank you, Miss Claudia. Concepción Marina. Present teacher. Darío Antonio. Present. Stephanie Carranza. Present. Okay. Josué Neftali Garcia. As a listener. Juan Antonio Elias. Present teacher. Luis Miguel. I'm here present. Mr. Corvera is here. Mariana Scarlett. Listener today. Marina Jansi. Absent today. Mirna Lisset. Present. Present. You're here. Nelly Lilibet. Present. Nelson Orlando. Present teacher. Norma Patricia. She is absent today. Pablo. Over here. Present teacher. Sandra. Leticia. No, she's not. Miss Wendy Maricela. Miss Wendy Maricela. The microphone, Miss. Present teacher. Okay. And Sandra. In the chat, teacher. Let me see. In the chat, what's the problem over here? Sandra says present and she has problems with the. She says that. Okay. Miss Carla Sofia. Present. Miss Celia Cristina. Present. You are over here. Okay, very well. So class, right now, I think that you're going to take different turns in the breakout rooms because you need to analyze this conversation for the processes, okay? And also for the, um, for the commands, you practice only two characters and then you take turns and you switch, yeah? When you finish practicing this conversation, you are going to answer these three questions. Who is responsible for stopping the conveyor belt? You know the conveyor belt, right? The one that is like this, yeah? You're familiar too. What are some of Mr. Roland's responsibilities? And you mentioned them over here. What kind of machinery is there in your workplace? This is for you, okay? What kind of machinery is there in your workplace? And since you work in different places, you're going to mention different machinery. Is that okay? Yeah? Okay, so right now, Let's move to the breakout rooms because time is running and let's practice this conversation. This conversation is at page 13, okay? 
So here we go. And right now, I'm going to uh, transfer you to the different breakout rooms, okay? If you are so nice, please join your different groups, take turns, practice the conversation and switch roles. Marian Scarlett, you are a listener. Vaya, yo ya puse la primera, pero no sé si están de acuerdo. No, no, no. Bueno, no. primero vamos Let's a... Let's see. Who is responsible for stopping the convey or break? The responsible is Mr. Wall. It is one of his responsibilities. Mm -hmm. Yes, because that is the first instruction that she gives him. First, mm -hmm. you are in charge of stopping the conveyor belt. Yeah. Okay, continue and later you practice. But first is the practice, the conversation. Okay, right? no, you can do it uh, the way that you consider better for you to answer the questions and later to practice the conversation. No problem. Okay. okay? okay. Continue very well. Thank you. Ay. Perdón que se hablo mucho me ato, pero voy a escuchar. Ay, nice to meet you, Mr. Miss Núñez. Where do ¿Cómo es? Where do we start? First, you are in charge of stopping stopping the conveyor belt. Convey your belt. Your belt. Convey your belt. Ah, que es que va junto. Ah, perdón. <laughs> Convey your belt. Es que me sé que era Núñez era otro y Miss era otro. <laughs> sí, no, es que usted terminaba de estar. Nice to meet you, Miss Núñez. Where do we start? Ah, sí. Yo era la que... First, you are in... Going to Spain where you smooth do in the product line. ¿Quién me va a seguir? Siga, Hello. Wendy. Nice to meet you. Hello. Nice to meet you, Mr. Where do we start? Phil, you are in charge of stopping the cover your bill. Please push the free button, second, grab a plane of stop and pick every piece of chocolate. Write this chart and check every piece. Make sure and meet the specification in the chart. Here, play the deficit the the chocolate in this funnel finally fill in report at the uh, end of the day about the deficit um, yeah. okay i need your attention class listen to the teacher hello mr roland Today is your first day at the plant. My name is Miss Nunez, and I'm going to explain what you must do in the production line. Nice to meet you, Miss Nunez. Where do we start? First, you are in charge of stopping the conveyor belt. Conveyor belt. Please push this red button. Second, grab a pair of phones. 
un par de, agarre un par de, de, de tenazas o pinza, ¿verdad? And pick every piece of chocolate. Read this chart and check every piece. Make sure each meets the specifications in this chart. Third, place the defective, defective chocolate in this funnel. Finally, fill in a report at the end of the day about the defective pieces. Okay, practice again. Yes. Practiquen nuevamente. ¿Quiénes okay. iban a practicar hoy? Este, ahora iba yo y Atilio sería Mr. Roland. Este, hello, Mr. Roland. Today is your, is your first day at the plant. My name is Miss Nunez and I'm going to explain what you must do in the production line. Nice to meet you, Mr. Nunez. How do we start? First, you're in charge of stopping the conveyor belt. Please push at this red bottom. Second, grab a pair of Thumbs and pick every piece of chocolate. Read this chart and check every piece. Make sure it meets the specification in this chart. Third, place the defective chocolate in this funnel. Finally, fill in a report at the end of the day about the defective pieces. Para. Y ahora va este. Wendy, <coughs> Miss Nunez, and yo, Mr. Roland. Okay. Hello, Mr. Roland. Is he? Yes. Uh, he he? Is, yes. D. D. Ah, uh, see. Uh, see, cabinet. And last E. Mas, yes. Erase. Así. Yes. Okay. Mr. Roland estaría a cargo prácticamente. Uh -huh. Porque la Miss le pide que no le da la instrucción sobre. Entonces sería Roland. Uh -huh. Roland. Mr. Roland. Sí. Okay, what are some of Mr. Roland's responsibilities? Sería char of stopping. Start of stopping the conveyor belt. Mm -hmm. There is a uh, grab a pair of tongs. Stopping the conveyor belt. Hasta ahí, hasta conveyor belt. No, también prácticamente todas las que están como en, en el sombreado más serían como la, las responsabilidades que, que él se le están otorgando. Ok. Prácticamente todo el último párrafo. Sí. Ok. Creo que es como un listado el que vamos a hacer. No escribiríamos exactamente todo. Uh -huh.
Ok, sentí entonces push the push this red button, grab mm -hmm. a pile of tongs, pick sí. every piece of chocolate, freeze the charge, check every piece, place the defective chocolate, fill in, fill fill, in uh, a red bowl. Yes. Ajá, todo eso sería la responsabilidad de Mr. Ronald. Walking of machinery is very your workplace. And my workplace is Estoy más personal, ¿verdad, teacher? Sí, ¿verdad? In my workplace is Yes, that is why I told you that, uh -huh, here there is a variety because uh -huh. you work in different places. Uh -huh. is, is computer, is cell phone, mm -hmm. is car. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <clears throat> Mr. Pablo Adalberto Abrego Vasquez, I need to ask yeah. you to do me a favor. Yeah. Necesito que me haga un favor. Te yeah. lo voy a agradecer con el alma. Después de la clase se puede quedar conmigo unos minutos. Ok, está bien. Ok, thank you so much. Because today is Friday. Ok, but I think that computer, all, all of you have it at work, yes? A telephone, um, some, uh, what else? Uh, Wi-Fi connectivity, yeah? Internet connectivity. What else? Um, uh, maybe printer. No, and so, print, uh, printer in my in my work in my work. No. Uh, in your in your in your company, they don't have a printer. Uh, yes, pero cómo decirle. Ah, yo pensé que era lo que yo utilizaba. No, no. Es lo que se utiliza en mi trabajo. In your workplace, yes. Okay. Okay, printer, computer, mm -hmm. and cell phone, car, and... Máquina empaquetadora, no sé cómo se llama. materials. Okay, so let's get back because it is almost time to, to share, okay? Let's return okay. and we're going to answer all together the, the questions. Thank you for your active participation group. Very well, class. Okay, before we finish, we're going to standardize the answers. Who is responsible for the conveyor belt? Who is responsible for the conveyor belt? Mr. Roland. Mr. Roland is, yeah, Mr. Roland is. What are some of Mr. Roland's responsibilities? He is in charge of stopping the conveyor belt. In charge of stopping the conveyor belt. What else? Push. Push. Red button. Red button. Red button. Grab a pair of thumbs. Pick every piece of chocolate. Read this. Read this chart. What else? Check every piece. Place the defective chocolate in the spoonel and fill in a report. Yeah, at the end of the day, a lot of work. And here, what kind of machinery is there in your workplace? The answers might vary because of the nature of your workplaces. Yeah, but something that maybe is common in the different workplaces, for instance, computers phones, printers, uh, internet connectivity, what else? Laser cut. 
Okay, maybe, yes. Okay, class, I have to tell you that it was great to have you here in class. Only please the reminder to update your work, okay? Update your work in the platform because it is mandatory. In this week, you only have homeworks. You don't have an evaluation. In the week number two, you have a midterm. So take advantage of that and don't let everything to get, you know, a huge amount of activities for you to do. Because sometimes, like yesterday, heavy rain, we have a little earthquake, right? And those are problems. And when you leave everything for the last moment, maybe there is something that is not going to let you do what you are expecting. So go one step beyond. Vayan un paso más allá y adelante su trabajo en la plataforma para que al final no tengan problemas y obtengan lo que ustedes merecen por el sacrificio que están haciendo de estar a tan alta hora de la noche recibiendo la clase, ¿verdad? Que no vaya a ser un pequeño detalle que les haga que no tengan ustedes su diploma, ¿ok? Thank you so very much. Sleep well, happy sleep, enjoy your weekend, and I hope to see you on Monday, okay? Happy okay, weekend, goodbye. happy sleep, bye-bye. I'm going to stay with Mr. Pablo Adalberto. He's the lucky for this Friday. See you Monday. Okay. Bye. Take care. Bye. Thank Bye. you for joining. Good night. Sleep well. Good night. So long. Bye-bye. Have a good night. Good Thank night. You. Practice. It was great today. To use your language, okay? Bye bye. Take care. Bye bye, Wendy. Bye bye, Miss Maricela Ramirez. Thank you. Bye bye, teacher. Bye bye. Have a good night. Okay, here we go. Uh, Mr. Abrego, ¿tiene algún problema con las estructuras que hemos estado trabajando hasta este día? Con eh, las estructuras eh, gramaticales, eh, probablemente la de ayer, what? Sí. O está claro lo de las cláusulas con what? Ajá, esto, estas son, eh, ¿cómo se llama? Son cláusulas u oraciones, ¿verdad? Que inician sí. con la palabra what, pero su significado no es como pregunta. Sí, sino que tiene otro significado. For example, what you need is to have a great product. Lo que tú necesitas es tener un gran producto o un buen producto. Usualmente eh, tenemos en la mente que la palabra what la utilizamos para construir preguntas, pero este no es el caso aunque sí se utiliza para preguntas, pero como no son preguntas en este caso, sino que cláusulas, por lo tanto, no llevan signo de interrogación al final, si se fijan, ¿de acuerdo? Sí, sí. Sí, muy bien. Vale, eh, eh, son como aseveraciones eh, las que se hacen con, con este tipo de cláusulas. Con la palabra what, yes. Ajá. Y hasta no. ahí, ¿verdad? Eh, con el tema de ahora, las imperatives. Eh, no. Oh, eh, sí. Más que todo son, son, eh, son órdenes, ¿verdad? Órdenes o instrucciones, ¿verdad? Que se Ajá. dan comandos. Igual que en español. Eh, sí, sí. Go, uh, take a shower, bañate, yes. Ajá, sí. Ok. Eh, take the bus, ok. Get dressed. Eh, have your breakfast. We use them every day in English and in Spanish. ¿Ya? Eso sí. es lo que hemos visto. ¿Qué otra estructura? Ok, what creo que... Ah, words to mark steps in a process. First, second, third, then, later, after, right, after, next, finally. No sé si tendrá algún problema con esta secuencia de palabras para los procesos, como lo hemos estado practicando en toda la semana. Ah, sí, sí, sí. No. Eh, el, el, o sea, sí, es, eh, ¿cómo se llama? El uso de, de, de todas las eh, 
Esto sería eh, como conectores, ¿verdad? De, de, Correcto, así De oraciones. Es. Ajá. Uh -huh. Entonces, este, sí. Eh, ¿Sí hay comprensión del uso de, de, lo, de estas uh, palabras para conectar las ideas en un proceso? Perdón, que fíjese que tengo un problema con el internet, se me va la señal y, y se oye ah, cortado. <risas> le digo que si no hay problema con estas palabras para unir eh, oraciones, para describir un proceso. No, 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 no hay muchas dudas. Eh, ah. Como este prácticamente casi sería un repaso de algunas cosas que ya se vieron anteriormente. Sí, correcto, así es, Ajá, para sí. reforzar. Lo que, lo, lo, que, lo, que, lo que sí es un poquito más nuevo es el, el, lo, lo de las, ¿cómo se llama? Eh, eh, el uso del what como Ajá, una, sí, sugerencia, una sugerencia. Una sugerencia. Sí, así no lo habíamos visto. Sí, Ajá, sí es, es lo nuevo. Ajá, Ajá, sí. Ajá. Pero sí, eh, me queda bastante, bastante claro eh, el uso de... de, de ok, de what. Ajá, Entonces what, vamos ajá. a practicar a uh, reading, ok, pronunciation. Ok, here. Eh, sí, eso sí es un poquito más. Uh -huh. Ok. I'm going to read once all the conversation. Later you are going to read one part and I'm going to read the other part, ok? Correct. Okay. Do you know what you need to have a good product? Uh, That's a good question. I think that what I would do is have quality in a product. What do you mean? What I'm saying is that your product has to be the best in the market because of the competence. I get it. Yes, you know, a friend of mine has a honey factory. What my friend did was to get fresh honey from local farmers. Sounds great. And at the same time, he contributes to these people. Now, Pablo, you are going to read Jab, and I'm going to read Kurt. Begin. Okay. Kurt, uh, do you know what you need to have a good product? Oh. oh, that's a good question. I think that what I would do is have quality in a product. What do you mean? What I'm saying is, that your product has to be the best in the market. Because of the competence, I get it. Yes, you know, a friend of mine has a honey factory. What my friend did was to get fresh honey from local farmers. Sound great. Right. And at the same time, he contributed to those people. Okay, <clears throat> now I begin. Correct. Okay. Do you know what you need to have a good product? Oh, that's a good question. I think that uh, uh, what I will do is have quality in the product. What do you mean? What I am saying is that your product has to be the best in the market. Because of the competence, I get it. Yes, you know, I friend of mine has a funny factory. What my friend did was to get French honey from local farmers. Sounds great. And at the same time, he contributes to these people. Okay, very well, congratulations. Not so many problems. And here we go over this other conversation that we practice today, okay? <clears throat> Hello, okay. Mr. Roland. Today is your first day at the plant. My name is Ms. Nunez, and I'm going to explain what you must do in the production line. Nice to meet you, Ms. Nunez. Where do we start? First, you are in charge of stopping the conveyor belt. Please push this red button. Second, grab a pair of thongs and pick every piece of chocolate, read this chart and check every piece. Make sure each meets the specifications in this chart. Third, place the defective chocolate in this funnel. Finally, fill in 
a report at the end of the day about the defective pieces. Okay, I am Mrs. Nunez and you are Mr. Roland. Hello, Mr. Hey. Roland. It's your first day at the plant. My name is Ms. Nunez. I'm going to explain what you must do in the production line. Nice to meet you, Ms. Nunez. Where do we start? First, you are in charge of stopping the conveyor belt. Please push this red button. Second, grab a pair of thumbs and pick every piece of chocolate. Read this chart and check every piece. Make sure each meets the specifications in this chart. Third, place the defective chocolate in this funnel. Finally, fill in a report at the end of the day about the defective pieces. Now you read all the conversation. Ahora usted lee toda la conversación, okay? Okay. Hello, Mr. Roland. Today is your first day at the plant. My name is Ms. Nunez, and I am going to explain what you must do in the product line. Nice to meet you, Ms. Nunez. Uh, where do we start? First, you are in charge of stopping the conveyor belt. Please push this red button. Second, grab a pair of thumbs and pick up every piece of chocolate, chocolate uh, ready this chair and check every piece. Uh, make sure it meets the, the uh, specification in this chart. Uh, third, place the defective uh, chocolate in this form. Finally, fill in a report at the, at the end of the day about the defective pace. Uh, Very me well. Me en no, the thing yeah. is that this, uh, this part is very long, okay? Uh -huh. So repeat after me. Push this red button. Push this red button. Grab a pair of thongs. Grab a pair of tongue. Pick every piece of chocolate. Pick every piece of chocolate. Read this chart. Read this chart. Check every piece. Check every piece. <laughs> Sorry. Make sure. Make sure. Each meets the specifications. Each meets the specification. In this chart. In this chart. Place the defective chocolate. Place the defective chocolate. Excellent. In this funnel. In this funnel. Fill in a report. Fill in a report. At the end of the day. At the end of the day about the defective pieces. About the defective pieces. Very well. Now I want you to read these three questions. Okay, read okay. these three questions. Who is responsible for stopping the conveyor belt? What are some of Miss, Mr. Roland's responsibilities? What kind of machinery is there in the your workplace? Okay, repeat after me. Responsibilities. Responsibility. What kind of machinery? What kind of machinery? Is there? Is there? In your workplace. In your workplace. Excellent, very well. Okay, Mr. Abrego Vasquez, thank you so much. And uh, continue working on the platform. And I hope to see you on Monday, okay? Okay. Happy weekend. Okay. Okay. Thanks. Have a good night. Bye-bye. Good night. Bye. Take care.